Well, in less than 24 hours, New Mexico State will play maybe its most important game in program history. NMSU will play in the 19th Annual Conference USA Football Championship game and waiting for them in the championship game, Liberty, one of five undefeated teams left in the nation. This is both programs' first CUSA title game appearances. New Mexico State will aim to win its fourth ever conference championship and first since 1978. Meanwhile, Liberty looks to win its first ever conference title at the FBS level. The game will take place at Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, Virginia and waiting in Lynchburg after a very long day of travel. A two stopper is KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver who is on the road and joins us live as he just set foot in Lynchburg a couple of moments ago and will be on hand for the Aggies <laughs> big game tomorrow. Colin, the show is all yours, my friend. Sam, I kind of don't know how we made it here in time. I left the Lynchburg airport about 15 minutes ago, got in a taxi cab because they don't have Uber here in Lynchburg, made it to the stadium, set up. Shout out to my friend Rachel for helping me set up the live shot. But it stops in Phoenix, stops in Charlotte, and now in Lynchburg. And here we are, and there's no place we would rather be. You went through it. This is arguably the biggest game in New Mexico State football history, the first time that they have ever played in a conference championship game. They've won conference titles before, most recently. Recently in 1978, they did it in 1960, they did it in 1959, as well as 1965. But for the first time in program history, they will play for a Conference USA championship here at the beautiful uh, Liberty Stadium tomorrow. And it's all because of Jerry Kill, the man in his second year at the helm of the Aggies. He has worked wonders. He should be one of the front runners for the National Coach of the Year, should Gary, Jerry Kill, for what he's done with this Aggies program this season. They've won eight consecutive games since a two and three start to get to 10 and three. They're only second double digit win season in the program's history. Now it's time to finish the job. And they have the respect of not only themselves, the region, the nation but also the Liberty Flames now they got to go finish the job and take care of business tomorrow the thing you worry about you know they haven't played here for a conference championship in a long time and so you worry about the nerves and them going in there and playing relaxed and having fun and just playing the standard that we we hold up they beat us earlier in the year we didn't forget about that so at the end of the day we happy you know that we in the conference championship now but you know what i'm saying we want to win it's a business trip we went up there to win new mexico state's probably arguably playing the best football of any team in the country and that's that's power five fbs anywhere they're, they're playing tremendous confidence and so we're going to have to play well Yeah, they certainly will. These two teams last played back in September. A Liberty win 33-17 to over the Aggies here in Lynchburg, Virginia. But that was a much different New Mexico State team. Expect them to look a lot different. Now, a person who knows a lot about long trips is Ron Tiavasue. You see him here. He is the Aggies tight end. He hails from Auckland, New Zealand. I can't, I can't complain about the trip today. He travels from New Zealand to uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico every single time that he wants to go home and back. So we will introduce you to Ron Tiavasue at 10 p.m. He has an incredible story of how he got to New Mexico State. That's at 10 p.m. And then I'm with you on the morning show tomorrow at noon, at 5, at 6, and at 10 p.m. as we get you ready and then wrap up New Mexico State's first trip to a Conference USA Championship game. Sam, back to you. We will see you at 10.